South Sudan imports most food to feed its population with goods transported from South Sudan's neighboring countries. But insecurity has blocked most roads at a time when famine is badly affecting many. The World Bank and the African Development Bank funds are a relief for the cash-strapped government, which says it will invest a portion in the country's roads. The World Bank is one of the donors and developmental partners that is uh, participating in the, the project of roads uh, of, of Nadepal, uh, Kakweta, Taurita, Juba. Um, we are delighted and we are thankful for their support. $50 million from the World Bank is to assist South Sudan meet the food gap. Juba says it's now making efforts to secure more food for the starving population. The government will be taking responsibility on how to import the food commodities, on activating and strengthening cooperative, union, uh, cooperative shops to help uh, citizens procure food supplies at reduced uh, cost or subsidized cost. The unity government is also urging citizens in areas that are peaceful to begin farming again. South Sudan's government says it's also considering exempting taxes on food imports to the country in a bid to reduce prices of basic goods. Many here are starving even in areas where food is available but too expensive. Many are hoping the new funds will provide much needed relief. Patrick Oyed, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.